No? Okay, to make a marble cake is really easy. Um, after you have um, your, both your mixes, your chocolate as well as the vanilla, what we're going to do is to actually put it alternate, alternately into the baking tin. So let me show you. Um, it's really random actually. You just dollop um, the chocolate mix or the vanilla mix first. As you can see, alternately. And my husband likes the cake to be more chocolatey than vanilla. And that's why I have more of the chocolate mix. Well, the idea is just to fill up the entire baking tin with the two colours of flour. So that when you actually cut it, there's actually a really nice swirl, which I'm going to show you how to do later on. So, in order to make the cake, we just have to keep alternating the different kinds of the different colours. And as you can see, I'm running out of the vanilla, and that's okay. It depends how you want your marble cake to turn out, more chocolatey or more vanilla-ish. Now if you look at the most marble cake mm. recipes, you would find out that many of the recipes usually call for just enough cocoa powder to turn the flour brown like this, chocolate brown. But my husband likes it really, really chocolatey. And therefore I added a double dose of cocoa powder and it doesn't usually change the flour consistency too much, which is okay. Alright, so I'm just going to leave that last dollop there. Um, putting this here, and as you can see it's not perfect because I've got a little bit of a mix over there, but that's okay. And I'm going to put this last dollop of vanilla flour here. My hands are clean by the way. So this is what you do when you don't have two spatulas. Now this spatula I brought all the way from Singapore and I just haven't got the chance to get another spatula here in Africa. But this has served me really well. Okay so now all the mixture is in the baking tin. And now this is the last part that I'm going to show you. Just use a chopstick or any sharp kind of uh, uh, material that you have. You might want to use a spoon just to kind of, you know, even out the, the layers. Alright, okay. But not too much because you don't want the flour to mix. And then what you will do is just to swirl a pattern. So this is what I'm going to do and showing you. It's really just to swirl it this way. And there's really not much of a it's not much of a science to it. It's really just seeing where your swirls take you and they may not all be perfect like the way you imagine them to be but they can be pretty good if you just follow where the chocolate swirls take you um, I'm just gonna make another swirl here and because you know all the the two different kinds of flour are kind of mixed alternately below um, the swirls are gonna come out quite nicely inside as well. So when you cut the cake open later on, you will see that you will see that the swirls go inside as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just to wipe off the top. And um, you can see that the chocolate swirls can carry on this way. See, if you want a little bit more of a chocolate swirl, all you need to do is just go back to the chocolatey bits and just kind of draw it out this way. And as you can see, the one over here may not be very nice at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just try and draw out the chocolate bits here. And try and pull it out here. And if it doesn't work out perfectly, that's fine too. But we're just going to try our best. And see how it turns out. And that's it. And that's your bubble cake.